everyone. Welcome to True Path Astrology. This is Rajni. Hope you're all doing well and safe. This is the monthly prediction for the month of July 2021 for Aquarius Ascendant or Aquarius Lagna for the month of July 2021. And those who have number 11 written in the first house of your chart and you are Aquarius Ascendant, so continue watching. This is a general prediction based on transit of the planets in the sky, and I am basing this prediction on Vedic astrology. Now, if you happen to know what Mahadasha or what ma uh, time period you're currently running, you can glean a lot from uh, this prediction. Um, I will first go over the planetary placements. And uh, then I will go over in detail as to how these planetary positions will affect your life in general, in, in the areas of your um, career, finance, health, your relationship, family, and uh, of course, love and uh, romance. But before I do that, I would like to request those who are visiting my channel for the first time to please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel, as um, this means a lot to me. And of course, don't uh, forget to hit the bell icon so that uh, any new videos I post, you will be notified of that um, right away. Now, so we have Jupiter in the Ascendant. Mercury and Rahu are in the fourth house. On July 7th, Mercury will move into the fifth house in its own house. On July 25th, Mercury will again move into the sixth house. So Mercury is moving twice this month. Now Sun is placed in the fifth house. On July 16th, Sun will move into the sixth house. Mars and Venus are placed in the sixth house. Mars is debilitated here in the sign of Cancer. But the good news is on July 20th, Mars will go out of its debilitation when uh, it moves into the um, seventh house. On July 17th, Venus will move into the seventh house. So then we have, yes, Ketu, Ketu in the 10th house and Saturn in its own house in the 12th. So this was the placement of planets we saw. Now let us get into the details. First, uh, we will talk about uh, family and uh, relationships in general. Now, Saturn is your ruler. Saturn is 12th from itself, but uh, since Saturn is in, is in its own house, you are going to get good results from Saturn this month. Now, also, Jupiter is in the ascendant, connecting your uh, second house of uh, finance, income source, and uh, family, of course, and the 11th house of income and gain. So you can expect great results from Jupiter as well this month. Now, you will have full support of your family this month, even in uh, difficult times. Your name and fame and status could increase in the eyes of your family members and with um, others outside of your immediate family members as well. And others could seek um, your counsel and they may want you to share your knowledge and your wisdom with them this month. Your speech and thoughts will be uh, filled with wisdom. And if you are into consultation, or if you're a teacher or a lecturer, you will do very well. And any fields related to speech, you will do very well in that area in general. So if you have been involved in any inherent inheritance matters or um, involved in any legal or court cases, you will see yourself winning the battle in your favor this month. Your mother's health needs to be careful. So you need to take care of your mother this month. Rahu in the fourth house could have others create some misunderstanding between you and your mother. So do your best to keep that strong bond going between you and your mother and don't let uh, outside uh, influence uh, spoil this relationship between you and your mother. Now, as for marital relationship, it will be overall good this month until uh, July 16th. Now, after July 16th, Sun, the ruler of your seventh house of marriage and partner, will move into the sixth house where it gets aspected by Saturn. So the later part of the month, you may need to be careful a bit in your relationship uh, with your life partner. But at the same time, your partner will continue to provide her their full support in everything you do. 
So any project you start in your partner's name this month, uh, that project is sure to uh, find success. So moving on to finance. Now, Jupiter rules the second house of your finance as well as the 11th house of gain and Jupiter is in the ascendant. Now, you cannot expect a better month uh, than this month for your finances. You will do well if you want to expand your business. And some of you could have some unexpected gains this month. Now, your investments will reap good results and uh, get a good financial gain. Now, luck will favor you. And some of you may plan and uh, think of uh, getting additional source of income other than your career income at this time. I mean, secondary source of income, I should say. Now, although your income and gain will be good, some of you may have to face a situation where you may have to spend money on uh, repairs of um, your vehicle, or some of you may face expenses in repairing or doing some home renovations this month, or it is possible that uh, you may spend money on your um, health matters this month due to Venus in the sixth house and with uh, Venus is with debilitated Mars. And this is until July 17th. Now let's move on to career and business. Your career will be good, especially after July 17th. You need to be watchful that others don't take credit for uh, all the work you have done at work. Be smart and it is okay sometimes to beat your own trumpet and uh, try to get the credit due to you. At the same time, do your work diligently and uh, don't take things for granted as Mars is a ruler of your 10th house and uh, it is not that well placed. So you will do well if you don't enter into any fights or arguments with your colleagues and your boss uh, this month. So let's quickly talk about business. Now, until July 16th, business will go well, but once Sun moves to the sixth house and uh, Saturn aspects the Sun, you could face some problems in the business. And if you are associated somehow with uh, your father in the business together. Now, things may not go well between the two of you, and you may have some um, differences of uh, opinion uh, in the partnership, and you could face some loss. You may have to put in that hard work in moving your business forward and save your business from uh, any loss this month. Now, let's uh, move on to love and romance. Now, the first 15 days will be good for those in romance and uh, love. The next 15 days, the following 15 days, will be slightly not that good of a period. Now, same is true for marital relationship as well. So be gentle and handle the relationships well in those areas. And you may want to avoid any conflicts and don't initiate any conflicts, I would say. Moving on to health. Moon is a ruler of your sixth house of illness. Mars and Venus are there in the sixth house. Now you will not have any major health issues, although you need to be still careful um, and uh, take care of your health in general, especially uh, until uh, July 17. Otherwise you're sure to enjoy good health in general. So this was the general prediction for all Aquarius Ascendant. Hope you find this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.